love him like I do. Love him like I do. That's why I love him like I do. he desires to do. Amen. But when we stay in the confines of the assignment that God gives us, amen, he gives us divine protection. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor divine protection. Divine protection. Yeah, we need divine protection. That's why we need to learn obedience. Amen. We learn as the scripture says, obedience by the things that we suffer. Amen. A anybody know what I'm talking about tonight? Yes. Once you have suffered something a little while and once you have gone through trial after trial and situation after situation. Amen. It begins to birth what the scripture calls patience. Amen. After your patience have been tested a while and after you've suffered through some things. Amen. Now your endurance level is a lot stronger than what it used to be. Amen. You're able to take more warfare and you're able to take, amen, things that come against you and it builds you up to a point where you don't buckle. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. If you faint. If you faint in the day of adversity, in the day of adversity, then your strength is little. Then your strength is That's little. what the scripture tells me that amen when the adversary comes against you and you faint in your day of adversity, that means your strength is very little. That's why the scripture tells us that we must build ourselves up in the Holy Ghost. We must build ourselves on our most holy faith. We can't rely on our emotions. We can't rely on our thinking. We can't rely on our education even at times. We can't rely on our intellect of things but we must rely on the word of God look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor rely on his word rely on his word so Jesus is in this ship and they just finished ministering and Jesus is saying to himself I need some rest goes down into the bottom of the ship and finds him a good pillow good pillow lays down for some rest and in the midst of getting rest a storm develops. And while this storm is developing, it begins to rock and sway the ship. Uh -huh. And it began to rock and sway the ship so much so that even in the midst of the rain, that the water began to fill the ship. And I don't know about you, but it seems like, amen, sometimes we go through seasons in our life where it feels like trouble is just pouring in from every direction. We don't even know where it's coming from and what really is going on, but it seems like we're just being hit from every direction. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, it's just turbulence. It's just turbulence. It's just turbulence. And while Amen. Jesus was sleeping. His disciples come running to him and saying, Master, don't you even care that we are going through this storm? Don't you even care that we are experiencing what we are experiencing? Don't you even care, amen, that it looks like this storm is about to take us out? Amen. Don't you even care that I can't sleep at night and I'm worried and I'm stressed and I'm depressed. Don't you even care that I'm going through or experiencing what I'm experiencing and Jesus looks at them and merely says, you know what, I don't have time for this. You know, he gets up to the top of the ship and he says, peace, comma, be still, period. Amen. Peace, be still. Come on, and whatever storm is raging in your life, you have to start to understand the authority that you have in your mouth. Come on. Come on. Some stuff just won't even change because you won't speak to it. The word said, let the redeem of the Lord say what? So, whom the Lord has redeemed out of the hand of the enemy. Sometimes you have to tell your enemy, no matter how much you throw at me, so what? Come on. No matter how much you try to aggravate or frustrate my yes. purpose, so what? Come on. No matter what you try to aim in my direction, no matter how many darts you throw, no matter how many demons you send my way, so what? So Come on. What? Peace be still. Come on. This storm doesn't have no real effect on me, but it's only a mere illusion. Yes. Look at your neighbor yes. and tell yes. your neighbor, it's just turbulence. Come on. It's just a little friction. Come on. It's just a little stirring up. Come on. It's just a little friction to show you that I'm about to do something in this season. The wind is only blowing because I'm about to blow you in another direction. Yes. Come on. This storm is only significant. Come on. That I'm about to rain in your life. 
Come on, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, stop focusing on your natural situation. Stop focusing on your And look at your spiritual situation. Come on, stop looking at what the enemy is causing and doing around you. And stop focusing on the promise that God says that you would walk into. Come on, look at your neighbor again and tell him it's just turbulence. It's just turbulence. 